In a case that has shaken Silicon Valley, Nima Momeni pleaded not guilty to murder in the April 4th stabbing of Cash App founder Bob Lee. The reason the story is really interesting is because it shows this whole other side of San Francisco that a lot of people are not paying attention to. Initially thought by many to be a random attack on the tech executive, here's a look at how Bob Lee knew his alleged attacker, Nima Momeni, and what prosecutors say happened the night Bob was killed. Bob Lee was a brilliant computer programmer. He is not a name that a lot of people would recognize, but he was really influential in a lot of tech companies out here in San Francisco. There's a lot less known about Nima Momeni and his family. He immigrated along with his sister, Kazar Momeni, and ended up in the Bay Area. Kazar was in the same circles as Bob Lee in this kind of lifestyle circle where there's a, quite a lot of partying, recreational drug use, um, different sexual partners, things like that. Bob's wife, Krista Lee, whom he was close with even though they were separated, disputed that he was a party boy and said Bob was more mature than that. Nima and Kazar were very close, and Nima was kind of overprotective of his sister, a lot of the friends have told us. He was often out with her when she was at the party scene. On April 13th, authorities arrested Nima. I am here today to formally announce the charges against Mr. Nima Momeni for the murder of Bob Lee. In court documents, prosecutors paint a detailed picture of what they allege happened in the hours leading up to Bob's death. Prosecutors say that Bob and Kazar met up at a house party on April 3rd. Nima was also there. What happens next is kind of a confusing timeline of events. The important thing to note is that at some point, Nima Momeni, Kazar's brother, confronts Bob Lee and says, did anything inappropriate happen at that party? Were there drugs? Did anything else happen? And Bob assures him that no, nothing inappropriate happened. Everything is fine. Later, Bob ended up at Kazar's apartment. Again, Nima was there. Prosecutors say surveillance footage shows Bob and Nima leaving the apartment together in a white BMW. Basically, they're alleging that Nima drives the car to a secluded spot nearby and stabs Bob to death with a kitchen knife. Prosecutors claim Bob was left on the street. He called 911, but it was too late, and he was pronounced dead at the hospital. According to Bob's autopsy report, he was stabbed three times, one blow piercing his heart. The report also revealed that Bob had several drugs in his system, including cocaine and ketamine. Nima Momeni entered a plea of not guilty on May 18th and is being detained ahead of trial. My defense is it's a combination of an accident and self-defense, absolutely. It was an accident with three stab wounds? Well, you know, have you ever... I'm going to say my defense is it is an accident with a cross between self-defense and accident. There was no premeditation deliberation. Absolutely not. There's no question in our minds that we have charged the correct person who killed Mr. Lee. In a written statement, lawyers for Kazar said, there are many rumors circulating around this case, many of them untrue. Ms. Momeni loves and supports her brother. What happened here is a tragedy. The fact that Bob may have been sleeping, according to his friends, with Kazar. The fact that Nima was very protective of Kazar. These things probably matter in this situation, but a lot more details about this case are going to unfold in the coming weeks.